It's interesting that I wasn't allowed to call a video One Dance Drake um, because the YouTube guidelines state that you're not allowed to like quote unquote jig this system you're not allowed to steer more clicks towards your video by giving it a certain title if the content doesn't match the title but I mean it's interesting though because it's, it's sort of like it's like content politics because it's like Drake is more popular than me so he he owns those words now and I can't it, it was a video artwork called One Dance Drake like that's what I chose to call it the video itself I'm going to re-upload it with a different name I'm going to call it This Is The Video if you want to have a look for it I haven't done it yet I might have even deleted it I could easily do it again what I was doing was had my iPhone plugged into my computer and I was I could I can put the screen of my phone on the computer screen so then I put I was I put the, the camera on and then that was creating like a feedback thing like a hall of mirrors of iPhone camera and I was just kind of fucking around with the light and stuff like it's really easy like I could I'm gonna make like I should do like 20 of them just so you know but it's funny that that was that was my quote unquote original content um, and I chose to call it One Dance Drake and that is not allowed on YouTube it really is a profit I mean I guess it's only because of it's only because they have like profitability stake and they're sort of accountable to Drake's team in a sense but the, the funny thing is like there's no way that if you search One Dance Drake like that video was uploaded like a week ago and it had probably like zero views or very few views there's not much chance that that would be the first video someone found and would click on it and would be deceived like for one thing the preview of it was like the iPhone Hall of Mirrors thing so you'd probably see that look dodgy it was all in lowercase it was just called One Dance Drake lowercase not like official music video or whatever like there's no thumbnail with Drake it was also only about two minutes long and the song is probably longer I mean there's just a lot of things that I think I think would I think that there's a case to be made that it's not deceptive um, but now I'm also worried because I've probably uploaded like a hundred videos with tight like recently the way I've been na like titling the videos when I upload them is there's uh, I've been looking up Google has a thing where you can search like trends in Google searches, YouTube searches and shit like by country and by um by like t time frame and stuff so I was looking up you know like, the most popular like, YouTube searches in Australia in the past 30 days for instance and then I'd like upload 10 videos and name them after the top 10 or something and I'd play around with that and you could, I'd do worldwide or I'd do like in the past five years or something stuff like that but yeah I'm worried because I've uploaded so many I'm gonna change them because I don't because like you might you can potentially get the account deleted which I don't want but it's also interesting that like they have that sway they have the monopoly on certain terms and I can't reappropriate the terms I'm just not allowed to I'm not big enough I'm just a small man <laughs> I'm a small man with no copyright and no lawyers and no knowledge really and therefore Drake wins on that one um, anyway let me know what you think let me know am I in the wrong am I an idiot I know I'm an idiot but am I you know not right about this